your N. You got your N. Give me your E. You got your E. Give me your W. You got your W. Give me your S. You got your S. Welcome to View Church. I'm Mary. This is Sharice. And you are watching Church News. Enjoy the service. We are entering into a new series called Grace starting next week Sunday in church and in life groups. Watch this clip. Our default position as strugglers is to believe that God's disappointed and frustrated. That he simply is tolerating us. The Apostle Paul in Ephesians 1 says, no, 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 no. Before the foundation of the earth was laid, he was going to adopt you, make you holy and blameless in his sight. So whether difficult days or good days, God's at work. God has not abandoned you in this difficult season. How amazing does that make our God that in our hypocrisy, he's long suffering with us. In our inability to live out all that he would call us to, he continues to lavish upon us his grace. In him, we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us in all wisdom and insight. So I love this word lavish, extravagant, plentiful, over the top. And so now when the Bible's talking about forgiveness, it's saying that his grace in forgiveness is lavish, like it's too much, like it's ridiculous. It's a ridiculous amount, right? It's, it's, it's weight, it's over the top. It's out of control. Man of woman of God, in Christ but struggling, God does not regret saving you. He doesn't regret it. You haven't surprised him. You cannot surprise him. God is not watching where you are now, watching how you've struggled this week, watching how you stumble and fall, and regretting the decision to pay the price for you in full. You have no sin past present and future that has more power than the cross of Jesus Christ. None. This means that your salvation wasn't just a past event alone, but that Christ even now is continuing to save you. He didn't forgive your past sins and now leaving it up to you to conquer present and future sins, which means it doesn't matter how you came in here. It means God can rescue. It means God can save. And it means for those of us who are in Christ, you do not disgust him. You do not discuss it. You don't know what I struggle with and how deplorable it is. Um, I know that Jesus would say that he paid the bill in full, and so what you're saying is nonsense. That is the grace with which he lavished on us in his forgiveness. This week Thursday, here at the Tableview campus, we will be hosting a prayer meeting that will start at quarter past seven. This is an awesome opportunity to get together as a community, to encounter God, and to really push through in prayer. Join us. If you were wondering what has changed this morning, I'll let you in on the secret. Our summer times have now begun. We start at half past eight and quarter past 10. Don't be late next week. Just a reminder that there are three courses currently running at the Tableview campus. We have the pre-marital course for those who are engaged or thinking about marriage that starts at quarter to five. For those that are interested in learning a little bit more about what Christianity entails, do join us for starting point at 5 p.m. And then if you would like to re-engage with the vision and mission of our church and to see what your next step is in the church, please join us at 5 p.m. as well. Thanks for watching Church News. And just a reminder, we start with the Grace series next week. It's an awesome opportunity to invite somebody new. Goodbye! Goodbye!